Welcome to more shenanigans. This is my Ram Charger, 87 Ram Charger. And it's got holes and weight reduction, a lot of rust. But this paint's still shiny over here. It looks fine. It's an old truck. So I have no plans to fix the rust currently. I need a welder and then I need to learn to weld. Then I can fix that. And then I, this truck's gonna get a whole new brand new paint job. The top of this truck is red, but it has no clear coat. It's all, it's all peeling off and pieces. And so I figured, well, let's try and get the top of this from the trim up, throw some clear coat off on it, just so it's shiny. Cause it's got like scratches and primer showing. And so it's, I'm not worried about it looking great, just shiny. So I've been seeing these turbo cans by Rust-Oleum online a lot. And they spray just ultra wide, kind of like a spray gun for painting cars. So you can actually do like an overlap with this and spray large areas. So I got two cans of clear and I'm just gonna clean this, scuff it, and then turbo can it. And hopefully it'll just be shiny at the end. I might have to, I'm probably gonna do this piece separately off the car one day. So I'm gonna mask this off. So from here up, this trim line, eventually I'm gonna get rid of this trim also. But from this trim line up, full car, roof, none of it has clear coat. Let's see how this works. I'm, I'm not really expecting it to be like nice, but you know, shiny would be nice. So here's what I mean about the clear coats peeling. I can start flaking it off with my fingertips. So I'm gonna just kind of like smooth this edge, get all the super loose stuff off before I paint it, like right here. That, I'm trying to get all that stuff off and then I'll spray over that. I don't care if you see the ridge line or anything. It's not like some primer there, some scratches, some scratches, dents. I'm not fixing anything. That's gonna be for when I do the whole paint job because I gotta fix that still, I gotta fix that still. That whole, this whole side, on both sides of the car, this whole strip is rust. The roof, same thing, just no paint on it. The sun is taking its toll. Back here is kind of shiny, but I'm gonna try and fix this a little bit. So same thing, trim up. While I'm in here, I'll spray this, or wire wheel this and spray it with a, some sort of like rust primer or something, something just to stop that for now. Once I do the whole body work on a whole car, we can address that fully, but I just want to stop this in its tracks. First, I gotta wash this car, get it clean, so I don't just, because this, this is like dirty, very dirty. I literally left white marks. So here's what I got. Took all the emblems off, well, except this one. This is double-sided taped on, so I'm just gonna leave it on, mask it off. But I got all the trim around the entire car off. And I'm just gonna wash it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a soapy bucket and I'm gonna use a, like a scuff pad to wash this. It might go through some of the paint. I'll see, I'll start on the roof so you don't see it. But I'm just trying to get like this stuff off. I don't care if you feel the ridge. I'm just trying to get this stuff off. So I'm not trying to smooth this edge even though I can feel it, just so it'll give it the best chance of sticking. This is what I'm using. I got a bucket of soapy water, and I'm using this ultra-fine Scotch-Brite, and literally, I'm just gonna put this in here, let that soak, and I come to the car, and just get those edges, anything that's loose, Just get it somewhat clean. Obviously I'm not gonna scotch right the shiny part, but these areas are kind of what I wanna get the most. So let's go over here for example. Here's a good spot. This kind of flaky part. Just come over. My goal with this twofold get that flaky stuff off and you can see the red is coming off. 
that means it is actually taking some paint off as well. So I wanna be careful with that. But my goal is to actually get all the flaky bits off. Oh, I might have to go a bit, a bit more. But I wanna actually give this like a little bit of a scuff so I have something to stick the paint to. I might actually step it up to the red so scotch pad. Definitely, it's giving like a good like crosshatch look, but very minimally. But see, that is the old clear, I think. Because this is clear, or what the old clear, where it was. No, this is the old clear. Okay, do a test here. That's clear, that's paint. So if I wipe off all the soap and stuff. Yeah, that haziness. I don't know if it picks it up, but that's the clear, and I do see some scratching in it, which is what I want. Right, so I'm gonna get to scuffing. I gotta get the roof done, and of course I picked the windiest day to do this, so. As I spray, ooh, that looks like someone killed me. As I spray, it's just all gonna fly in my face. So that, that's gonna be great. But now let's get this clean. So before scuffing, I've gone with this plastic razor. I'm just getting rid of anything loose because the scuff pad isn't like, isn't pulling all that off great. Here's what it looks like scuffed. I mean, it's bright. It's definitely not uniform. Got scuffs here. I gotta wait for the car to fully dry before painting it, obviously. But in this hot sun, it should go fast. But you can see the clear that is on there is now has this scuff to it. So that should let it stick. The roof obviously has tons of scuff marks primer showing through around the badge Just gotta wipe it all down so when you're painting stuff you should ideally wax and grease remover it I'm gonna just use glass cleaner so I just spray it on oh, wipe it off wipe off the whole truck like this and you get it all that spare stuff off, spare paint at this point. So I'm gonna wipe do a once over, and then I'll mask everything that I don't want sprayed. And then I'll wipe one more time and I'll spray. So it's covered. And it is, uh, I mean, it's just thrown on there. I'm, I, I'm not really too worried about it. So this thing, directions are actually really, it, this thing goes on quick. You put, Two or more light coats a few minutes apart. So you do about 50% coverage per coat. So I gotta kinda go pretty quick. And you're done, you let it go. Can handle in 30 minutes, dry in 24 hours. Which is great, because I have a car show to go to in two hours. I'll make it. So I need to... No bugs. No, get off the car. No, I'm gonna start with the roof. And so my goal is roof light coat, tailgate light coat. I might do tailgate first. Just do a quick tailgate, then do roof, and then door, hood, door, and then repeat. Probably do like three, three coats. I only need it to be shiny for like a year. Let's see how this thing sprays. Oh my God, look at the nozzle on this thing. Look at that nozzle. Oh, Jesus. All right, well, let's see. Oh, it sprays nice. It's extremely windy as you can see, so this is gonna work great. That's about it for that coat. Yeah, that goes on fucking quick. Oh, forgot to tape up here. Whatever. Like I said, not worried about doing professionally. You want to hold it about a foot away? It's spray paint. Not that concerned about how it looks or using good painting techniques even. Ah. 
Take my stool to the other side. I don't need that. This thing sprays pretty damn well, actually. Oh, I forgot to do this side also. I forgot to tape the window up here. Tape the rubber, but not the glass. So I gotta clean the glass afterwards. Yep, that's it for that can. See what happens. Well, you can definitely see the spray pattern. Man, one of these goes fast. Oh, that's it. Okay, we'll see what happens. It already looks better than it did before. I'm just out, that's it like two and a half coats for the just the third of the car come back in an hour and we'll see what it is so it's been a week and we let this cure Ooh, it's a little sticky and due to the combination of it's a big spray can I've never used before and I have no idea how to paint um, it's very hazy you can, you can hear it. It's a little dirty now too. Uh, I also think that it didn't like blend well because as I'm spraying it, it dried so quickly because this is crazy hot in the sun. Man, the stickiness is kind of worrying me actually. I was gonna try and buff it, like sand it smooth, buff it, but it's very soft when it's warm. So I might have to actually do that another day. So instead of learning from my mistakes, I bought three more cans because I ran out and this was, this is a very light coat. And so I figured well, I'll spray more. I think around the doors is fine, thick enough, but the roof and the hood, I think I just do the hood for now. See how it turns out. Cause I can do that with one can. So I gotta pop the envelope off again, pop this off and mask the front of the car. That way I'm not doing so much work again. And I'm gonna just scuff it a little bit, clean it and spray it again try and get the front then if it's hazy after that i'll have enough material to actually sand and buff it but i'll have to do that in the cold because this is like it's very soft in the in the sun not leaving fingerprints in it it's not like uncured soft but it's it's sticky so if i try to sand this actually let me let me grab a man that, this garage is now so full oh yeah it's it scuffs fine, but that's kind of my goal here. Get it scuffed so it's not shiny anymore. Just to give the new layer of paint something to stick to. I gotta pull this off again. Gotta pull that off. Trim pieces. These aren't too hard to pull off. I was thinking of in the future, because they're supposed to be trimmed down here, like these wide panels that have rubber on them. And I have them. I'm missing the mounting point right here. These, these little studs on the body. They're kind of missing here. Yeah, I think I can actually show you. Because this one is actually removable. It's a nice feature. There we go. Body has these tabs on them. And that's kind of what holds these pieces on. When I put the new panels on, fix all the rust, I kind of like the like open look and I don't really care for this red down here. Just delete all the trim. Just keep the badge because I like that. Paint it all one color, undetermined what color. Now that I'm looking at it, I kind of like this. Might keep white and red. I kind of like how it looks, but just go with the white all the way to the bottom. Clean out the bottom. You get the shine out instead of the, it's they're like plastic, plastic vinyl. Got a couple here vinyl rubber bumper essentially with chrome on either side like that well this goes on the other side i think but like that ish i don't really like how they look 
So instead of putting them back on, I think I'm gonna delete these. Oh, I'm going, man, I just go off on tangents. I'm not gonna wash it this time. It's only been a week. I'll just go over with the glass cleaner. Gotta move that car. Done. Literally just pushed in there. <sighs> Low on finances right now, so I don't really have a ton to just be buying car parts. Like, I'm when I lean on it, I'm stuck to it. Here, let me see if you can hear it. That's it. That's me peeling off of that thing. Definitely would not recommend. The heat just turns it into mush. But where it's shiny and thick, it's still sticky, but it's not as sticky. Yeah, this side's not as sticky at all. And this side has definitely has more material on it. Okay, that gives me hope. And the door is not sticky. Yeah, it's not sticky here either. Oh, maybe there's just something on here then that didn't let it cure well. Well, it's sticky, paint will stick on it. Okay, so let me get this mask off and scuff down. I'll show me painting it, I guess, again. Clearing it, is clear coat, if you're just doing clear coat, are you still painting? Because it's clear, there's no paint. Oh, this is definitely the most bubble way to do this. So don't do this. It's just a fun little experiment. If you use like a, something like a 2K clear, two component, the one that you press together, and it hardens. That stuff actually works pretty well. It's essentially the same thing as the spray gun clear, two component, much stronger, but it's also much more expensive. This stuff is not. It definitely doesn't like spraying perfectly horizontal, but if you're at a slight angle, it actually goes pretty on pretty well. Ah! It's going on so much better in the cold. So in the shade, what happens is when you overlap the two layers, so you spray one and then the next one goes on like a 50% overlap, it melds together a lot better. In the sun, the, the first layer flashed immediately so the second layer, it, the overspray kind of just hazed the first layer immediately. Now it's going on a lot better. I might go this way to kind of blend it more, but then I kind of have to finish on the paint for each paint stroke. And I don't want to do that, but it might get a better finish. I might go a little heavier, a lot of orange peel for sure, but I mean, it's a spray can. I'm trying to think what this would be used for then. Big projects. I guess for like bare metal cars and, and like that rust finish where you let the entire car rust over and then spray clear over that, those this would be good for because you don't care about how shiny it is necessarily, you're just trying to protect it. Parts that you like spray paint just to get them nice looking, this is way too big. What do you need 10 feet of spray for? Ah, do not apply to surfaces when heated exceed 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So you can't even use this on engine parts. That's probably why it was getting soft because in the sun, this thing is approaching that temperature. So this probably uh, breaks down or starts getting soft at that temperature. Oh, it's already flashed. Okay, let's do the second coat. Yeah, a little heavier works a lot better. You don't see that haziness now, but for each layer. I'm also doing a much bigger overlap. Towards the edges, the edges of the car are actually pretty damn glossy already. Top isn't that much. It really, this thing is really designed to be sprayed this way. Any angle and it doesn't spray that great anymore. 20 bucks a can, you get quite a bit of paint. Well, it's a lot shinier now than it was before. A lot shinier. It's a lot of orange peel. So as you can see, it's shiny. Reflective, for sure. 
but you can see the orange peel. It's just tons and tons of orange peel. And you can see kind of as a haze, let's line and then shiny. And then if you keep going, you can kind of see, eh, not so much over here, but yeah, there's like a hazy section here or extra orange peely section. And when I went, where I went thicker, it's more glossy. I mean, if, so if I did this the first time, you know, went heavy, under shade, this would have been 50 bucks for that. Without buffing, without compound, I mean, it's red in, in the sun. You can see it's shiny. You can see the orange peel, tons and tons of orange peel. And that's where the old clear coat line is. It's not perfect by any means. This is actually more orange than this is more red now. Ooh, that's a pretty, pretty big run right there. Not too concerned about runs, really. Yeah, so 50 bucks, you can get shiny. Your next step up would be a wipe on clear coat. Literally comes in a bottle, shake it up, same prep, clean it, and then just you wipe it on in a specific pattern. The instructions tell you how to do it. First try, you can see it's so dirty that all the dirt's staying in. Really not shiny. This I'm just gonna buff. I don't really care about the roof too much. Same thing, just buff it back here though same thing like it's it's got some shine that's all that's all that matters this is definitely me not rationalizing spending all this time spray painting a hood 